says fitness. I'm having a little issues again with the original life link, but here we are with the new link. So again, if you are um, following me on Facebook and you're relying on that link on Facebook, um, I would highly, that was a fly, I would highly suggest for you to uh, like and subscribe the YouTube channel so that we do not have this issue. So what I'm actually gonna do from here on forward, I'm gonna start just giving you the link of YouTube every time I post a class. So then that way you just go onto my YouTube channel and then you just see me coming up live when the time comes, okay? So again, here we are. Full body conditioning with dumbbells. You're gonna need a lighter and heavier dumbbell if you have them. If you do not have them, don't worry. Grab some dumbbells that you have. Grab a couple water bottles, grab a water jug. Whatever you have available to yourself will do, okay? Are we ready for this? All right, so all I want you to start off with is a nice little warm up. So we're actually gonna get right into it from an inch warm. So I want your feet about hip width apart. We're gonna stretch down. We're gonna walk it all the way forward. We're gonna take it down into a push-up. And we're gonna walk it all the way back up. Are you cranking your music? Yeah? All right, all the way down. We're gonna do five of these, okay? Two, all the way back. Good work. And again, three, all the way down. Awesome work. And back up. Woo! And again, four, walking it all the way down. If you need to go on your knees for your push up, okay? And then walking it all the way back. Awesome work. One more time. Down we go. Into your push up. And all the way back up. Good. Rolling your shoulders out. Whew. All right, shaking it out. We're going to do a lunge to the side, well, to the front. We're going to lunge it down. I want you to come all the way down with your hand down to the floor, rotating it, coming back to the center, and press it back. Yeah? Other side. Down we go. Rotating it, coming back, pressing it back. So there's a lot of power coming back, okay? Down we go. Rotate, center, power it back. Good. Working those glutes at the same time. Down, rotate, center, and powering it back, shaking it out. Okay, I'm gonna go into alternating side planks. I'm gonna come right down onto the mat. Plank position, on your knees or on your toes, and we're gonna rotate, ready? Side, and again, side, and again. Three, you can do it on your toes or on your knees, four. Keep going, five, come on, warm it up to the shoulders, six. Is this just a warm up? Seven, eight, last two, nine, one more, and ten. We're gonna come all the way back up, shaking it out, get right back into that inch one. Okay, so feet go a little bit closer together, all the way down, stretch from the back of the legs. Walking it all the way forward. Good, one push up. Walking it all the way back. Woo, let's do one more. Down we go. Oh yes, core is nice and tight. Awesome job, walking it back. And up we go. And again, three, walking it out. Down we go, and back up. Good. And again, four, walking it out. And back down. And back up. Good work. Last one. Five. All the way down. One push up. And all the way back up. Good work. We're going to again lunge it forward. Ready? Down we go. Rotate. Center. Pushing it back. And again. Down we go. Rotate. Center. Power back. Woo! Balance. Two more. Down we go. Twist into it. Back to the center. Powering it back. One more time. Down we go. Twisting into it. Back down. Power it back. Let's go all the way back down to the mat. Alternating side planks. Ready? And go. So the warm up is really important, but does it have to be this? No. 
You can just technically go running outside for 10 minutes and then come right back in and then jump right into the workout, right? So I'm just giving you a little warm up that we can follow so that we get our shoulders, core, hips, legs, all nicely warmed, right? And ready to go so we're much safer when we're doing these workouts. Two more. Awesome. Last one. Good. Stretching it back into the hips. Arms extended. <sighs> and release. Good. We're going to slowly come up. Hopefully have some water handy because we want to hydrate. So sipping, not guzzling it down, right? All right. So again, as I mentioned before, a lighter set, maybe something a little bit heavier works really, really well. So grab your dumbbells. We're going to start with shoulder presses. So you kind of have to gauge where your strength is for all that. So for shoulders, I actually really go a little bit wider. We're going to soften those knees a little bit. Ready? And go. So we're going to press it up and down. Notice when I drop my elbows down and not going super low, your elbows should go just a tiny bit underneath your shoulders and then pressing it back up, okay? My standing position, we're going to soften it up. Good. Exhale. Pressing it up. And again. Good. Exhale up. Get that full body in there today. So if you have a couple of water bottles and a water jug, this will work just as well, okay? Keep going. Give me 10 more seconds. Good. Pressing it up. Last four. Three, two, and time. I'm going to switch to my heavier dumbbell. You don't have to. We're going to go bend or rows. So we're going to stick your bum out, arms extended. Both arms are rowing up at the same time. Making sure your elbows are nice and close. Ready? And go. Pulling it in. Pulling it in. Pulling it in. Good. Awesome. Really get into that upper back. So we want to get right into between the shoulder blades. What we don't do is the shrug forward. Okay, so really think about going behind. So if you have a lower back that's a little bit weaker, then you have to really focus on pushing those dumbbells a little bit more in front of you versus here, where gravity is kind of helping keeping the dumbbells where they need to stay. Okay, so this all depends on your lower back strength though. So be very careful. Four, three, two, and time. We're gonna do goblet squats. We're gonna grab one of your dumbbells, Keep your feet about, about the width of your mat. If you don't have one, go a little bit wider than hip width, that's all. We're going to tap your elbows down to the quads if you can. Ready? Down we go. Tap them down and up we go. If that's too low, don't go as low. Okay? Press into the hips and up we go. Press into the hips and up we go. Perfect. Down we go and lift. Down we go and lift. Stay in your heels and press. Down we go and press. Keep your chest lifted. Don't forget to breathe. And as I said, we're going to get the whole body in there today. And push. Down and press. Down and press. Almost there. Push it. Four, three, two, and time. You're going to take it right down to the floor into a plank position on your elbows, on your toes, or on your elbows and your knees. You decide for one minute in four, three, two, and go. Holding it right here. Now your back should be nice and flat. Your head should stay neutral. We don't want your bum way up here, okay? We don't want it drooping down. Keep it strong. My head stays always in that neutral. So I'm not dropping my head down or resting on my hands. I see that happening quite a bit too, right? We want your head in neutral. So the nice alignment, if that's what you're about, drop to the knees. We've got 20 more seconds. Keep holding it here. Keep holding it here. Come on. Core is strong. Lower back is strong. Your shoulders are kicking in here. 10 more seconds. Don't let them do all the work though. Keep going. Keep going. For five, four, three, two, and time. Slowly come up, back to your shoulder presses, back to the first exercise we did. <sighs> so for these four exercises, three times through, minimal break, right? 15 seconds, that's it. 
Ready? And go. Soften your knees, right? Don't lock them out. And press. And again, if you have a couple water bottles, and again, if you lock them out, what happens here is a lot of swaying, right? So I'm gonna bend them a little bit so I have that control. Good. Core tight. Notice that exhale, right? On that up. So I have a lot of power. Good. 15 seconds. Looking awesome. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. And time. Good. Bend over. Putting all your weight in your heels. Putting all your weight in your hips, not your lower back. Shoulders retreat down. We're going to go right into those rows in four, three, two, and go. Good. Keep those elbows close in. Keeping the dumbbells across the chest, right? So maybe a little bit below the chest, but the key is to squeeze the shoulder blades. And squeeze. And squeeze. Good. Keep those elbows in. Exhale out, squeezing it up there. Come on. Halfway there. Pull into it. We're almost there. Ten more seconds. Good work. Last four. Three, two, and time. Grab a heavier dumbbell, grab the jug, grab your water bottles. Having the hand right underneath, a little goblet. You're gonna get your feet hip width apart, shoulders down and back. In four, three, two, squat it down. Keep that chest lifted. Really think about your quads and your glutes doing the work. Down we go, press it up. You got your music cranked? Right? Have some fun, okay? And push. Inhale, exhale, pressing it up. And push. Good job. 20 more seconds. Ten more seconds. Last five. And time. Good. Plank position. On your elbows. One minute hold. You're with me, right? Come on. It's only Monday. If you're live with me, you should have all this energy, rest and energy. Yeah. Four, three, two, and hold. Keep your core nice and tight. Head in neutral. Belly button pulls in. Make it work for you. And if you have any of those, if you're, if you're challenging yourself at this point, don't stop. With any of the challenges that are online right now, with your squat challenges and push-up challenges and plank challenges, this adds to it, right? So you can count this. It's like, yeah, I did. I did X amount of planks, I did X amount of push-ups, I did X amount of squats, right? Keep going. 10 more seconds. Or if you're really eager, you just count this as a whole separate um, thing and you don't add it into your challenge. In four, three, two, and release. Good, one more round. Grab your dumbbells, overhead presses. Shoulders down and back, soften those knees. How are we feeling? Good, right? 90 degree angle. Ready, set, and go. Good, press it up. How's that core doing? Core is good, right? Core is nice and snug. And press. And press. You're doing fantastic. Half the battle is to be here, okay? It's easy to have excuses. It's easy to go. I'm just going to do this later. Okay, keep going. 20 more seconds. Keep pushing it. 15 seconds. Excellent. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Wow. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Release. Back to the rows. Bending over. Pushing all your weight in your hips, into your heels. Arms extended. Ready, set, 
and go. Good, keep those elbows to the side. Are we warm? We should be warm. And pull. And pull. Good work, squeezing into it. Come on, think right between the shoulder blades. If you had a $100 bill, you want to hold on to it. We know what that one looks like, don't we? I know we don't use a lot of cash anymore, <laughs> so it's all cards. But okay, you have your bank card, or your MasterCard, or your Visa, right between your shoulder blades. Come on, hang on to it. So squeeze into it. Woo! And pull. Ten more seconds. Five more seconds. And time. Good. Shake it out. Right back into your goblet squat, going a little heavier, right? Or stay with the same weight that you have. Hang on to it. Feet about the width of the mat, shoulders down and back. Ready? In four, three, two, and go. Down and press. Watch those knees. There should be no weight in your toes. Keep your chest lifted, looking in front of you. Good job. Ooh, yeah, come on, 15 seconds. You feeling this yet? 10 more seconds. Almost there. Last five, four, three, two, and time. Plank position. Last minute, and then we're going to switch those exercises, okay? Elbows underneath your shoulders. Get ready. In five, four, three, two, and go. Keep that belly button pulled in. Come on, hold it. Don't forget to breathe. This is not the time to hold your breath. Keep your hips down. 30 more seconds. Your bum should not be way up here. Come on, feel that core. Come on, breathe through it. 15 more seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and release. Good, stretching it back. Oh, you're doing awesome. Okay, we're going to go through your next segment of exercises. Grab yourself some water. Whew. You're doing fantastic. Okay, from here, we're going to take it into a line down bridge, and then we're going to go into chest presses. So again, I'm going to choose your weights here. Then from there, we're going to go into lateral raises, right? So you do need your lighter... Um, dumbbells again. What am I doing? All right, so let's get ourselves down on the mat. What's up here? Love the internet. Right? We always love the internet. There we go. Okay. We're going to lie on your back. Grab the dumbbells. Hoo-ya. All right. Bridge position. So dumbbells right across the chest. Giving your feet, knees, and hips um, the same width. Lift your hips up, stay right across the chest. We're going to go right into chest presses in four, three, two, and go. Now, if you have a lighter set of dumbbells only or just your water bottles and they're not very heavy, you can also do chest flies. So from here to here, it's going to be a little bit harder than going down from the bend and up. Right? So again, you can definitely do one or the other depending on the resistance that you have. Could you do this with a band around your back and press? Of course you can. Right? So again, lots of different choices. Down and press. Come on, push it. Exhale, press it. And lift. Good. And push. Ten more seconds. We got this. So close. And time. Good. We're going to come all the way back into a standing position. Lateral raises to the shoulders this time. It's not overhead presses. Similar muscle group. But now we're going to go from the front of the hips. 
laterally out to the sides. Ready? Knees bent and go. Now, it's not a forward fold position. We're not here, right? We're upright and we're just going to get those arms to go laterally out to the side, right? So you can get a good angle here and press. So I'm coming a little bit higher, um, but not really. I don't want to go past my shoulders, right? So be careful. Knees softened, so we have that good support again to your lower back. Awesome, keep going and lift. 15 more seconds. And again. Good. 10 more seconds. Keep this pushing. Four, three, two, and time. We're gonna keep the dumbbells beside your hips. We're gonna go right into reverse lunges. So we're just gonna step it behind. Coming back where you started, okay? Alternating leg left in four, three, two, and go. Bending it back. So if you have heavier dumbbells, you would grab the heavier ones if you if you like. Um, you can have a jug of water or maybe you fill it up with sand or rocks in front of your chest. Down we go and press. Down we go and press. Good. Down we go and press. Good, stay in your heels, bending that back leg, 90 degree angle, 20 more seconds. And again, Woo. come on, 10 more seconds. Last one, and time, good. From there, we're gonna go on your hands into a plank position this time. And all I want you to do is tapping your feet laterally out to the side in five, four, three, two, and go. So tap. And again, your hips are level with your shoulders. We're not here tapping, right? We're here tapping. My hands stay underneath my shoulders the whole time. I'm not pressing away from my hands. They're right underneath my shoulders. Good job. 20 more seconds. You're doing awesome. Almost there. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Up we go. No, sorry. Line up. Bridge position. That's a nice one you're going to. After something like that. Right across the chest. Yeah. Get ready. Bridge it up. Press into the heels and press. Go. Come on, it's the second round. Good. Exhale, press. Exhale, press. Good work. Make it work. Come on. Keep your hips lifted because they want to drop, right? So we're working on the lower body at the same time. And push. And press. Woo. Go, go, go. 15 seconds. So I'm going a little bit faster here because my weight's are a little bit lighter. But having that said, you can slow this right down. I actually prefer if you do, but when your weight's a little bit lighter, sometimes to get better challenge out of it and release is to pump it just a little bit faster and then we're going to tap into more of that endurance level as well. All right, up we go. Lateral raises for the shoulders. Soften those knees, dumbbells to the front. In four, three, two, and go. Come on, control it. I don't want you swinging the weights up and I don't want to let them drop down too fast, right? So lift, slow it down. Making the top of the shoulders work. Lift, slow it down, good. And again. And again. Good. And again. Whew, 20 more seconds. Now it's starting to get heavy. Doesn't take much for the shoulders to get tired, right? And again. 10 more seconds. Good job. Five more seconds. And time, good, reverse lunges, shoulders down and back, stepping it behind, grab the weights that are appropriate for your level and for your challenge, right? Shoulders back, 
in five, four, three, two, let's go. Good. Stay in that front heel. Bring in those toes. Shoulders back. Keep that posture. Don't lose it. Bending that back leg, right? Really important to press ourselves up with the front heel, right? So the glutes are doing the work, not your knees. 15 more seconds. Good job. Keep going. Power through it. Five more seconds. And time. Good job. Plank position on your hands. Tapping the toes right and left, yeah? Whew. All right. Stay underneath the shoulders. Don't move this. Don't shift yourself away. In four, three, two, and go. Notice I try to keep my hips, everything very still. Keep going, you're not done. 20 more seconds. So hands underneath your shoulders, back nice and flat, head in neutral, right? I can't stretch this enough, and every time I say this to people, they're still their bones are way up here because you're like a mirror, right? So then maybe a mirror would be something super heavy. You're almost there. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. One last round. Back into line bridges, chest presses. All right, dumbbells right above the chest, pressing into that bridge. Ready, set, and go. Down and press. Down and press. Exhale out. Come on, stay across the chest, make it work. Come on, summer body, right? It should be here. The summer. And the body, you know? And go. Good work. Come on, 15 seconds. Don't stop now. Good. We're half an hour into our class here. You still can do this. Five, four, three, two, and time. Awesome. Up we go. Back to your lateral raises. Grabbing your lighter dumbbells if you need to. Soften those knees, dumbbells to the front. Shoulders down and back. In four, three, two, and go. And again. Good, keep it going. Nice and controlled. Keep it going, don't stop. All right, keep going. Always something. That's the thing when we're doing live classes, right? We're gonna deal with a lot of things that the computer gives us. So we just smile through it, so long as you're keeping on going, that's all that matters, right? This is your workout, not mine. Good work, exhale out. 10 more seconds, come on. Good, five more seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Reverse lunges, shoulders down and back, yeah? Whew, gonna have some nice food after this, aren't we? I'm gonna fuel up with some protein, fuel up with some good greens, some hydration. Ready? And go. I was halfway through my workout, so I always think about what I'm gonna be eating. <laughs> it's like, mmm, now I'm hungry. What am I gonna eat? Whew. A good quick um, fuel, and I've mentioned this before is uh, if you uh, have some oat milk, like some sort of protein-based type milk, um, because it's quick into your muscles. So, so another thing would be um, having a quick protein shake right after this, right? And you want to sort of try to do it within 20 minutes after your workout. That would be really good, not the ideal. So we're fueling those muscles. So those protein shakes are not going to build your muscles bigger, but they're going to fuel your muscles with this to make your muscles stronger, more toned. Right, so one more and done, awesome. Planking it out on your hands, tapping those toes, right, left. Yeah, 
Now you did all your thing is like, I'm not hungry. Four, three, two, and go. Tap, tap, tap. If it gets too much, just hold it, or just hold it on your knees. So long your back stays nice and flat, pull the belly button in, and as long as it is challenging to you. That's huge, right? So this is not a challenge for anybody else, this is challenging for you. So you got to find the position, the exercise adjustment to make this your workout. And push, and tap, and tap, and tap. Keep going. Good. Ten more seconds. Five more seconds. And time. Oh, okay, let's have some water. We're gonna take this into our last four exercises. I'm out of water. I'm just pretending I'm having water. It makes me feel better. So if you don't have water during your workout, is that gonna do, you know, and no. So I'm gonna drink water up to your class and then having water to refuel. A 45-minute class is not going to dehydrate you to hinder you from having a lot of energy and, and, and the, the uh, energy and the strength to do this workout, okay? So don't stress all out if you run out of water, you should be fine. But if it's more than an hour of a workout that you're doing, so let's say you go on a bike ride, you go for a run, anything like that, please fuel. Fuel every 15 to 20, minute, uh, 20 minutes is really important because then you can continue and sustain that sort of energy. Elbows tucked in, hinging forward. We're gonna go into tricep kickbacks. Ready, set, and go. Kick it back, kick it back, yeah? Kick it back. So notice when I come back, I don't go right to my shoulders. I just come into that 90 degree. My elbows are higher than my rib cage. Okay, so I'm not gonna come back all the way here and then swinging them back. It's a nice kick, a little bit past the elbow joint. Okay. And again, and again, good. Get those triceps in there. So 15 more seconds here, stabilizing, putting your weight into your hips, and squeeze, and squeeze. We got this, and push it back. Good work, exhale out, five more seconds, and time, good. We're gonna be standing on one leg, we're gonna grab our heavier dumbbells, oh, I am. We're gonna take it, standing on one leg only, halfway through, I'm gonna switch to my other leg, bicep curls. Ready, set, and go. Curling it to the shoulders, and down. Try to stay on that one leg. Lost my balance already. Good. Now, because I'm trying to focus on my balance at the same time, I'm using my core, right? I'm gonna slow it down a little bit, which is a good thing. Come on. Now, I don't want you to stop curling, but I want you to switch your leg, okay? Keep going, don't stop. Yeah? Keep going, keep it controlled, don't rush it down. We got 10 more seconds. Good job, come on. Four, three, two, and time. Good, keeping the weights in front of the hips, feet are close together. We're gonna go right into a deadlift, stretching the back of the legs, and pulling it back up, squeezing those cheeks. All right, ready, set, and go. Down we go. Squeeze your bum. Is your back nice and flat? Okay, that is key here. We don't wanna be doing this. And rolling it up, okay? So all your weight is in your hips, pulling it up. You can soften those knees a little bit if you feel this too much in your lower back. Um, it is a hamstring glute and lower back exercise. I just don't want you to feel your lower back and stress it out. So it's okay to feel those muscles after your workout, but I don't want you, your lower back to stress out where you're kind of going, oh, like it's my old injury, it's a disc that I'm feeling, it's not muscles. Stretch, squeeze your bum. Stretch, four, three, two, and time. Awesome, we're gonna lay on your back, Bicycle crunches, okay? Level one, you're right here. Level two, you're right here. Level three, you're right here. Which level are you? Ready, set, and go. And lift, and lift, and lift, good. 
Exhale out, lifting it up, lifting it up. Good, 30 more seconds. Come on, take it to your level. So I sometimes stay at this level because my lower back, as I've mentioned several times in different classes, it is, um, I have chronic back issues. So sometimes, some days are good, and some days I kind of go, hmm, not gonna push it, right? Oof, 10 more seconds, but that doesn't mean I can't work out. Right, I'm here. And press, four, three, two, and time. Good work. Back to your dumbbell kickbacks, second round. Back to your triceps. Feet go hip width apart. Hinging forward from the neck. Elbows are tucked in a little bit higher. Ready, set, and go. Notice my wrists stay aligned with my forearms, right? Good. Good job. Keeping your shoulders and elbows aligned. Good job. 15 seconds. We got this. Five more seconds. Put your weight in your hips. Don't lose this. And time. Bicep curls. Again, if you go heavier, stay with the same weight. Completely up to you. Standing on one leg only. Switching halfway through. Shoulders down and back. In four, three, two, let's go. Girl. 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 Good work. I have to focus on this one, right? Otherwise I lose my balance on that one leg. Whew. And switch. Good job. Oh yeah. Come on. Stay on that leg. Almost there. In four, three, Two, and time, deadlifts. Feet come a little closer together, shoulders down and back, stretching through the back of those legs. Ready in 10 seconds. In four, three, two, and go. Squeeze your butt cheeks on the way up. Come on, make them work. Good. Stretching the hamstrings. Squeeze the glutes. Good job. And again, 20 more seconds. We got this. Right? So the minute I feel this in my lower back, I know I'm doing something wrong. Right? So that's when we need to adjust either the weight, right? Doing a little bit less, working up to this kind of exercise. This is more advanced, right? So be gentle. Four, three, two, and time. So the question would then be, well, what could I do instead of a deadlift? Well, if you have a ball, you could do bicycle crunches. If no, not that instead. That's what we're gonna do next. In four, three, two, and go. Um, ball hamstring curls. Okay, so you have your feet on top of the ball, lift your hips, rolling the ball in and out. You could do bridges, right? So having your feet on top of like a chair and then lifting your bum up and down would be another alternative. So there is alternatives. Um, just trying to figure out. So if you're deadlifts, you're kind of going, you know what, every time I do them, my back is killing me. So then maybe your mechanisms are just not quite there yet, and that's okay. So we need to maybe separate those muscles a little bit for a bit, get all those muscles strong, and then reconnect them and link them back together, right? So it takes time. And again, over we go. 10 more seconds, come on. And we got one more round. You can do this, right? Four, three, two, and time. So this workout is all strength-based, right? Not a lot of cardio in there. It doesn't mean that we don't work our cardio. Elbows tucked in, dumbbell kickbacks, ready, set, and go. So we're still working our cardio system, but a little bit more anaerobically, right? So it's just a little different. Um, so 
our systems have aerobic systems, anaerobic systems. It uses different fuel of the body, right? So sometimes it replenishes. So if I were to go sprinting, I need a little bit of rest to sprint again, right? So it taps into all different energies. And again, that's why we want to fuel properly, train properly, um, building, you know, right? Accumulating, like if you do have a lot of different weights that you can sort through, then we want to accumulate those weights slowly, one step at a time. So you wouldn't jump from five pounds to 20 pounds. Five more seconds. And one more. And bicep curls, right? So if you're having five pounds, your next weight up is usually an eight. And then a 10, um, right? If you have homemade weights where you can change it yourself, bicep curls, ready, and go. Then you can even go up in a little bit smaller increments. Like I actually have six, seven, and eight pound weights, right? So sometimes certain exercises, even going from five to eight, might be a lot, right? Especially for postural type exercises. And again, 30 more seconds. Ready to switch legs? Switch it over, keep going, don't stop those arms. Keep that balance. Right, and if that's difficult for you, you can tap that back foot down for a bit, right, until you can regain that balance. Come on. Good, keep it going. 10 more seconds, we got this. Ooh, last five, four, three, two, and time. Feet come together, shoulders down and back, back into that deadlift, right? So again, bend your knees a little bit with it if you uh, need to for your lower back or keeping it nice and straight. Ready, set, and go. Right, so stretch. You don't have to go to the ground. And it's not a pull of the dumbbells. Your dumbbells stay the same. Your arms stay extended. So I see sometimes this happening and then people kind of try to pull them in a little bit more. No, nope, you don't want to take away from the deadlift. Inhale down, exhale pull. Back flat, squeeze the glutes. Come on, no low back, kick the low back out of it. It's still gonna do work, but don't make it do all the work. These are your helpers, your hamstrings, your glutes. Make them do the work. Oof. Good, almost there. Oof. Last four, three, two, and time. Lie on your back, bicycle crunches. So your last one, ladies and gentlemen. All right, hands behind your ears, chin tucked in. Are we ready for this? <clears throat> and go. And lift. So again, take it at your level. Come on. Don't forget to exhale. So I, I hold my head lightly with my fingertips, okay? So we're not yanking on your head. We're lifting from the upper abdominals, rotating into the top knee. Now also think about going with my elbow to the outside of that knee, not right to the knee. So I'm lifting and to the outside, lifting and to the outside. Ooh, good. Right, so that's a nice little reminder. Ooh, and again, Ooh, five more seconds. Ooh, and release, good, let's hold it right here. Let's drop both knees over to one side, stretching through the hips and lower back. Nice deep breathing. We worked everything. We worked your chest, we worked your back, we worked your biceps, your triceps, we worked your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings, your core, your lower back. Ta-da! So if you are here with me today live and you are coming to the class tomorrow, um, tomorrow we have Tabata with uh, sort of a little bit more of the core. We're going to pull the knees in for 20 minutes, and then after that we'll do 20 minutes of core. Okay? So you get to really push through a little bit more on the endurance end, the cardio end, as well as your core and no equipment needed. So isn't that fantastic, right? So lots of variety, and we're going to walk it up, see the position bottom of your feet come together. Sliding those feet in, dropping those knees to either side, leaning slightly forward. Get that nice stretch in those adductors. Good job. <sighs> Feels good. And release. We're going to cross your knees, and we're just going to rotate looking over your shoulder. And as always, do more stretching. Right? It doesn't hurt to do more stretching. So good for you. 
and over to your side. And not only just after the class, right? So sometimes if you're hiking, biking, anything like that, it's good to give it a couple stretches. And releasing it. We're gonna come more on all fours. We're gonna sit back in those heels, arms extended, stretching through the shoulders, your lats, into that lower back. Coming all the way forward, we're gonna lower those hips down, rotating the shoulders down and back. And release. Good job. So continue stretching, quads, glutes, anything you can possibly think of where you're tight. Um, and I will see you back in the next few days for more classes. And um, stay safe. Drink, right? Hydrate water. That's what I'm talking about when I'm saying drinking. And uh, replenish with some protein and replenish with some good greens. Yeah? All right, stay safe. See you soon. Sonia from Success Fitness. Thank you, Royal Roads, for sponsoring this class.